We're going to be playing you music from Southwest Louisiana. We're not from New Orleans. Uh, we come from kind of closer to Texas, and this is a French music. And so when we sing, we're going to be singing in French, but we'll tell you a little bit about the lyrics and stuff. But anyway, we're going to start out with a couple of Philippines. <coughs> These students come from a guy from Eunice, Louisiana, a little town that I come from. Its population's maybe 10,000 people. Um, this guy, Dennis McGee, was the grandfather of Cajun music. He, when he was a young man uh, in the early 1900s, he learned all of this, a lot of the tunes that he recorded in the 20s from a man who was 100 years old. So it's very ancient, kind of the earliest Cajun repertoire. And his name was Dennis McGee. But he swore that McGee was a French name because he didn't know any McGees that didn't speak French. <laughs> so this is where we come from. <laughs> Pierre Daigle, and he sang it a cappella, and there are a lot of versions of this story, this ballad, 
Um, some of them are called Pas de Nantes, the Nantes Bridge. This one is called A Danseuse Noyer, which means the drowned dancer. Yeah. But uh, it's about a girl who wants to go to a dance. Basically, the story is usually she asks her mother to go to the dance. Her mother says no, she has a dream that she drowned. She sneaks away to the dance and she does drown. Because <laughs> so, her brother tells her it's fine. So the lesson is, I guess, always listen to your mother and never listen to your brother. <laughs> That's called La Danse is Noyer. <laughs>
triangle on my set. Yeah. And I was like, what are you talking about? Like, I've never heard triangle in Irish music in my life. But it was awesome. It was, but he, he started like, Kelly, every day I would find like, Kelly was like hanging out with Tony, they'd go, he'd skip his classes and go have lunch, they'd be at the pub, and no. then in all of it, the gigs, <laughs> Kelly was playing triangle in all of his sets, and it just like, I thought he just had this obsession with either Kelly or the triangle. <laughs> I don't know. Still to be decided. <laughs> this is the Cajun Triangle. I was not there when he missed his classes. <laughs> what is this song, Kel? This is a, a, another little acapella song that um, we set to music. It's called uh, Mes Souliers Rouge, which means my red shoes, but it's kind of a one of those songs. There's a lot in English and I'm sure many other languages. Um, where you keep adding things, like, I don't know if you guys know the song, like, there's a hole in the ground, and the tree in the hole, and the hole in the bed, and the grass grows all around. That one, and um, so this is kind of like that, but with clothing items, and it's in French, and just talks about, um, basically says, if I had the, if I had the shoes that my mother gave me, the shoes would be red, and then it says, if I had the stockings, they would be made of silk, and if I had the garters, they would be whole garters. <laughs> um, yeah, anyway. Lost in translation. Yeah, yeah, maybe lost in translation. I don't wear garters often, so I don't know what they are talking about. But um, yeah, so it just keeps adding. So it's kind of a tongue twister. So we'll see if I get tripped up. <laughs> yes, we will. Yeah. <laughs> Don't 
kind of shut down and there was just like this the, all these areas that were just roped off by the simple little red velvet rope that was so, so easy to cross. <laughs> yeah. No security. No security. So we would at night we would cross the red velvet ropes and go explore the rest of the candle uh, the castle. And Kel ended up stealing some records from a trash pile in that the castle. That was from an attic, a very creepy castle attic. A dusty room no one was listening to these records, and so I grabbed a stack and I just put it in my jacket. <laughs> and uh, and I brought them home eventually and ended up listening to them. And this was on one of them. And he, uh, Joel has a 45 jukebox in his kitchen that he ended up getting. And I put a few of them in there. And this is one that just kept getting played over and over. And I decided we should work it up. So if you. And we ended up putting it on this 45 in, in honor of the 45 that I stole from a castle. <laughs> <laughs> it's a 
It's a Petula Clark song. It's called uh, Tijou à l'amour. You play it, love.
a little um, ballad that I like, kind of a drinking song um, about love and drinking, <laughs> love of drinking. Um, but uh, uh, this one's called uh, Les Amours et les Beaux Jours, and it says uh, Les Amours et les Beaux Jours, love and beautiful days. And it says, love and beautiful days are beautiful but short. And uh, we make love when we can, but not always when we want to. And it says, if I had a lover that loved me tenderly, I would treat them well and their heart would be mine. And then it says, in the morning when I wake up, I drink a small quart of wine. <laughs> <laughs> Just to help me think of love for the rest of my days. Explains a lot, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> This is what I wrote, no. <laughs> this is an old French ballad. Let's go for it. Les amours et les beaux jours, ils sont beaux mais ils sont cool. Les amours On fait l'amour et quand un peu, et quand un peu, et quand un peu. On fait l'amour et quand un peu, mais pas et quand un peu. Si j'avais un amant qui m'aimerait si tendrement. J'avais un amant qui m'aimerait si tendrement. Je lui ferai autant de bien, autant de bien, autant de bien. Je lui ferai autant de bien sans qu'elle se Le matin, le levant, je vois un coup de vin. Le matin, le levant, je vois un coup de vin. C'est pour penser à l'amour, à l'amour, à pour penser à l'amour le reste de mes jours. So, um, I, uh, it's kind of odd that, uh, one of my very first fiddle lessons. I've been playing the fiddle since I was about 12 years old. That's about 27 years now. And uh, I have a funny connection to Irish culture because Frankie Gavin married a girl from my hometown. And uh, he was really close friends with my parents. And one of the very first fiddle lessons I got right when I was like a kid learning how to play the fiddle was Frankie came over to the house and was like teaching me, trying to teach me all this like, you know, there's a this super fast bowing ring he does. And, um, but I do feel like there's a lot of parallels with uh, the culture that y'all, you know, the Irish community has. In a lot of uh, American roots cultures, our people were kicked out of, uh, the Cajun people were kicked out of Canada in 1755 by the English and I ended up down in Louisiana where they thought it was a French territory which was Spanish by the time they got there. And so they were sent west. And uh, I still live on the uh, original Spanish land grant that was given to my ancestors by the Spanish government at that time. But uh, all of this music is a music from another, you know, another period. It's a, it's a working man's music. This is all music from people that have, uh, it's kind of the music that America was founded on. You know, America is an immigrant country. is founded on by immigrants in there cultures and their music and I feel like, I don't know, I just feel very close to anybody that has a strong culture that is trying to keep their culture going. So it's really special for us to be here in this place. We have a lot of uh, 
things like this back home where we feature Cajun music, but we'll also bring in other people that play traditional music. So it's really cool, and uh, we feel really special that uh, Tony invited us to come be part of this uh, festival. So thank you so much for uh, being here with us for that. We're going to do you a song. Uh, there's a lot of, I don't know what the language situation is like here in Irish culture, but uh, where we come from, French is being lost quickly. When I was a kid, you could go anywhere and hear people of all ages speaking French still all the time. Um, nowadays, it's only the elder generation, and it's, this is not like French that you would hear in Paris. This is French from Louis XIV, so this is French from the early 1700s. Um, so the Cajun language is an archaic language, and it's quickly being lost. But there's a lot of movements in Louisiana to keep it going. There's a lot of immersion schools. You can now go, in Lafayette, Louisiana, you can go from kindergarten through high school all in French if you choose to. And uh, so they're trying to keep that, you know, that part of the culture alive. There's a lot of young people making new songs in this traditional culture too. And Kelly and I, Kelly's also doing this, um, but we feel it's important to learn the songs from us, a lot of our peers, and uh, present them to other people. So we're gonna play you a song right now by a great young songwriter from uh, Cypress Island, Louisiana, a guy named Jordan Thibodeau. No relation to the Boudreaux and Thibodeau jokes. Um, I think you heard enough jokes in the first set, so I'm going to tell you. That, uh, maybe after the show, we'll hang out in the lobby. But this is a, a song, it's called Shah Creole, and it's about uh, someone who sees an old guy playing fiddle on the street, and he says, hey, old man, what is that you're playing? He said, oh, it's just a, it's a song I'm just singing about my worries. He says, I lost my house. There's a lost my wife, I lost everything, but I've got my fiddle and I've got my, I've got my memories and I'm just gonna play, I'm just gonna play. It's a song called Shack Creole by Jordan Thibodeau.
J'ai pas d'argent, juste mon violon et mes jonglements. Et moi, je vais jouer. sing one song in English. Alright, let's get this. We got a really tight set list up here, y'all. Um, yeah, so we, we did drive up here. We were so excited that Tony invited us to come to this. We just got in the car and drove pretty much straight through just to get up here for this. It's, it's a pretty good haul from Louisiana. <laughs> But uh, Kel is going to sing y'all a song right now. It comes from a guy who was a star in the Grand Ole Opry for over 50 years. He was from Mamou, Louisiana, which is this horrible, vile little town <laughs> about 10 minutes north of my house. But it's one of the funnest places in the world. Um, they've got a bar called Fred's Lounge. It only opens on Saturdays, and it only opens at 8 a.m., and it closes at 1.30 p.m. every Saturday. It's closed by 1.30 p.m., and they have a Cajun band every single Saturday. And it's uh, an amazing, hilarious place to be. But this guy, Jimmy C. Newman, uh, came from there. He ended up having a hit called The Alligator Man and uh, became known as The Alligator Man. He had all these beautiful suits. But anyway, Kelly and I got together with a bunch of friends of ours who have a band called the Foghorn String Band. And uh, we made a record called Farewell Alligator Man shortly after Jimmy passed away because he'd gotten to be friends of ours, or a friend of ours. And uh, I just love the way she sings this song. And I'm, this is my special request to all of you. This is called The Blue Darling, and this is from Jimmy C. from Mongo, Louisiana. Yeah, I think we have some of the Farewell Alligator Man CDs for sale in the lobby. It's a great, yeah, great collaboration with some friends of ours.
Goodbye, Shatter Me. Goodbye, my dear friend. And uh, thank you all for listening. Yeah. And enjoy the rest of the time. Thank you. 